Okay, brake bleeding starts here at the brake reservoir. You come here, you find it. It's usually clear, so you can see. It's usually clean, clear and dirty. So you can see the brake fluid in it, and you have to make it clean. It says, use only DOT 3 fluid. You can also DOT 4, because those are compatible. So, have yourself your brake fluid. I have this one left over from the motorcycle's brake job. I got some in it. And what you're watching here is, here is your minimum line. No, you can't see it from here. Someone's got to watch it here so you don't go below the minimum. There you can see this minimum line on it here. It's hard to read, but it does say minimum there. In the middle of the picture it says minimum. Okay, so remove the cap like so. And that's why you clean it so you don't get dirt into it. And get your... Uh, brake fluid container here ready open it and uh, open it in a way so you don't get any of this plastic or aluminum crap into the brake fluid because that's just gonna make your life extra miserable so that one's there you need a person who operates the brake pedal uh, say hi hello very cute and then you need your setup here. All you need basically is a PVC hose. This one has a, the, the lid attached to it and this container attaches to it. I'll show you in a sec. I got a vacuum hand pump. Not necessary. Seriously. And take a look at my setup here. So what we have here is other than the wrench take a look at the I tied the hose with this tie wire here to the uh, bleeder valve so it doesn't fall off and it doesn't suck in air around and around the bleeder valves edge and between the inner surface of the tubing okay take a look at it from this way too maybe a little more light this way so that's how the setup looks like. So here is the end of the wrench. The wrench goes here. There we go. The wrench goes here. And I open it a quarter turn. And this is how this brake bleeding should be set up. I got this PVC tubing and you don't need anything else. I got this canister that, this empty canister that is gonna be attached to the lid there. And I have this hand vacuum hand pump what is not necessary. What is important here, and this one is gonna save you hours of grief, from the bleeder valve, the hose should be going up for a good portion of it, and there should be always brake fluid in it. And this is why. As the pedal by the person in the car is pushed forward, the pedal displaces some of the brake fluid and the brake fluid moves through the brake lines and comes out here. With it, it removes the air that was trapped inside the wheel cylinder. When the pressure is released from the pedal and the pedal is traveling back, the pedal is sucking some of the brake fluid back with it because uh, the displaced brake fluid uh, is uh, going to be moving back. If there is air in this hose, in this last itty bit of portion, it's gonna be slurping air in through the bleeder valve. You're gonna be pumping some air out, slurping some air back in. Pumping some air out, slurping some air back in. You're not gonna be done anytime soon. So what you need to do is make a loop like this so that the PVC tubing here starts up and there's always brake fluid in it. When the pedal is pumped, the air inside the wheel cylinder is displaced, moves forward. And when the pressure is released from the pedal, it, the brake fluid moves back a little bit, but doesn't slurp in any air from here, okay? 
So that's why this loop is important. So I'm gonna put you on the perch here and you can see this one, how it uh, happens. Baby, do you hear me? Yeah. Very good. Okay, so I got my canister in place and I'm gonna open this valve here. And as is, it doesn't contain any more air out because I'm already done with the bleeding. So this is how it should look like when you're done bleeding. What you should be seeing through this is microscopic amounts of air bubble like that one there moving forward and then a little bit back. A lot forward and then a little bit back as uh, the person in the vehicle, baby, is operating the brake pedal. So baby, give me 10 pumps as fast as you can. Anytime start when you like it. Count out loud. Thank you, baby. At this point, turn the bleeder valve off, shut it off. There's the brake fluid that was removed from the system. This is clean brake fluid, so I can backfill it in the brake reservoir. And uh, the dirty was displaced in another container. So this is how it looks when it's done, when it's air free and bubble free. So keep doing until you get there, okay? That's all there is to it. Take your time and be patient.